This is how I remade this item, into, this. Wow! But before we start, if you like this kind of content, please, give it a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell, so I can eventually quit my job and dedicate myself entirely to this channel. Gore Howl, one of Azeroth's most feared and notorious weapons, is an epic two-handed axe that once belonged to the Orcish warrior and former chieftain of the Warsong clan, Gromash Hellscream, and later it was passed on to his son, Garrosh. Times change. God damn it. That's so badass. Gore Howl has a heavy blade that is notched and stained, with sharp, wicked curves, small holes dot the blade near the handle. When the wielder swings the axe, air whistles through these holes. The sound keens over the battlefield, magically strengthened and imbued with otherworldly power. I had a number of problems with the remake of this item. It's always the same question that every remake insists on asking me. How far will I go in the modifications? Although Gore Howl's latest version is very well done, I would be betraying the concept of this channel if I made the item too modern. But on the other hand, I can't help but add or modify original elements, otherwise there would be no point in doing the remake in the first place. When examining the original model, I noticed that the skull on top of the blade was so low poly that it was very difficult to tell what it was. Well, so I jumped into ZBrush and tried to sculpt the skull more or less in the Blizzard art style. Still in ZBrush, I sculpted the details that go along the blade and the handle. I made some high poly meshes to be used in Substance Painter to generate normal maps and provide a little more detail for the final model. Unfortunately, this created a problem, since the program now believed that there were more polygons than were actually in the model, it made the procedural painting too detailed, which defeats the purpose of the stylization. I had to clean it all up by manually painting over all the layers. I swear that after exercising that level of patience for that long, I felt that I would eventually become some sort of a monk by the end of this experience. Now, without further ado, the new Gore Howl. What you think?